Malacanang rules out the use of force to relocate informal settlers living in Metro Manila. Ina Andalong has this report. Mona Maginalang refuses to leave her home along the Estero de San Miguel, located just outside the Malacanang grounds. She says her daughter cannot afford to move to their relocation site in San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. Kasi ako hindi elementary yung anak ko dahil si Kandir Kalitz yung anak, Etel Dier Kalitz yung anak ko. Hindi pwede doon sa mga elementary na yun. As part of the government's comprehensive plan to free Metro Manila from informal settlers, authorities intend to relocate at least 20,000 families living in shanties every year or 100,000 in five years. Malacanang assures efforts to relocate informal settlers will be orderly and peaceful, contrary to the impression left by Public Works and Highway Secretary Rogelio Singson yesterday. I just received instructions from the President that... Uh, push comes to show, we will have to blast yung mga kabahayan dun no? kung hindi pa sila alis within a certain period. Secretary Singson mentioned that in reference to the, Pang the, the Pampanga Delta floodways where they did conduct, I think that was, also, that was in the time of uh, the former president FBR. So he mentioned that in reference para bumaba daw ho agad yung flooding. Deputy Presidential Spokesperson Abigail Valte assures informal settlers will be given a reasonable time to leave their homes. That we continue to work with the LGUs and to give them uh, to work within deadlines that are practicable and realistic for the informal settlers to, to be relocated. Rest assured that no violence will be. Hindi po kasama yun dun sa, sa equation. The MMDA has already sent notices to Mona and her neighbors, warning that all structures within 3 meters of the estero will soon be cleared as required by the water code. They say they are ready to comply as long as structures beyond the 3 meter limit are not touched. If they are allowed to stay beyond the 3 meter zone, they say they're even willing to work with the government in properly disposing their garbage. Gusto namin na manalisin yung mga basura dito kahit magbigay kami ng mga ano, uh, konting pera sa mga basurero para may taas sa taas. Paano na may dumadala? Kahit ngayon din, nagigibay na okay na lang. Do tumutulong pa ako ng gumigiba. Pero basta 3 oh, meters lang. But the administration seems firm on its plan to relocate informal settlers, intended not just for flood prevention efforts, but for the safety of people living in shanties as well. The government has allocated 10 billion pesos for this plan. Time, however, will tell if these plans will be successfully implemented or if illegal settlers like Mona will continue to build shanties wherever they see it fit. Inandolong, Solar News.